All right, I want to make this quick test video of uh, rendering the classroom scene with eCycles. And if you don't know what eCycles is, it's basically another version of uh, the Cycles rendering engine, but it's supposed to have some optimization techniques that make it quicker. And um, I actually have the RTX version since I have RTX GPUs. All right, as a baseline, I have... Uh, the classroom scene open up and I have all the settings set the same as it would um, basic I haven't changed the settings is what I'm trying to say let me go ahead and uh, go to the preferences and drag this over and you can see I got two RTX 2060 supers and it's currently using optics all right I'm gonna go ahead and click render and this should take little over a minute and um, now I want you all to keep in mind I'm going to do a more in-depth review of eCycles later on this is just like a teaser or preliminary video or test I guess you could say um, and I do want to uh, disclose something I was given a discount on eCycles and the discount was given with knowledge that I would be to a degree promoting this so I just want to put that out there that I did receive a discount because I will be talking about this in future videos but I will go out of my way to be absolutely 100% objective or as a objective as I possibly could be regardless of the discount but I figured it's only reasonable that I do mention that alright it's almost finished and it's coming up on looks like it's going to be about a minute and 30 seconds All right, a minute and 32 seconds. Now, I did forget to mention something, and I actually meant to mention this. I did change one thing. I turned Denoiser on, because normally Denoiser, the AI Denoiser is not turned on on the uh, demo file, but I turned it on, and I actually have it turned on on the uh, eCycles version too. All right, that's the standard 2.83 official blender version rendered with optics one minute and 32 seconds all right let me go to eCycles eCycles is basically blender it's just sort of a, another branch of it all right I have the same everything set the same I have uh, denoise turned on and now I'm going to let me go ahead and show you the preferences I have uh, once again same GPUs optics turned on and I'm going to go ahead and click render now I have noticed something with um, eCycles and I'm not 100% sure of all the settings because it's quite a bit different or at least some of the optim optimization settings are a little bit different the colors are slightly different but they're not drastically different but if I was to render like an animation half of it on in eCycles and half of it in the official blender version it would look weird you need to render all with the same rendering engine alright you can see here it took 41 seconds and you know let me switch between the two that's uh, a minute and 32 seconds and that's the official blender version eCycles official eCycles official now in my opinion there's a, the contrast looks a little higher on the eCycles but in this 
this actually looks like it has a little bit less noise but it could be because the contrast seems to be a little bit higher you can see a little bit extra noise up in here on the e cycles you know but it's not that noticeable now on the e cycles you have presets and just to let you know I have this on the fast preset now I could put this on medium and then I'll re-render and it should take a little bit longer than 41 seconds but it may take care of that little bit of noise and again I'm not I've just started using e-cycles so I'm probably not going to explain everything exactly like it needs to be explained and I'm not really trying to teach you how to use e-cycles at this point because quite frankly there is a whole lot of extra little settings over here and I'm right now I've just been playing with the presets because I'm hoping that by going using presets and seeing what changes it makes I'll be able to um, better understand what differences I can achieve by adjusting all these little settings all right now that actually looks a little bit better and it took 48 seconds so it's it took about seven seconds seven or eight seconds longer than it did before all right there's official blender one minute 32 seconds and um, e-cycles now let me go ahead and do the do this other test go back to preferences and change it over to CUDA and I'm gonna go ahead and render this in CUDA now it should take a little bit longer to render in CUDA I'm guessing you know, according to that it's gonna take another two minutes and I'm just gonna keep squawking while it renders but I'm not one I'm not exactly sure how e-cycles is uh, making a such a huge difference now my gut instinct is it's not really uh, doing much in terms of the GPU well, I think it's doing something similar to how adaptive sampling works you know adaptive sampling once a certain area reaches a noise a low point in the noise it stops um, it it doesn't have to continue to render that area because a certain noise basement or thres threshold has been met but I think E cycles is very similar to that except it does that with um, you know like ambient occlusion um, as well and with some other things but I'm not I'm not explaining it very well because quite frankly I don't understand it yet but I think it's something along those lines it's just using better optimization techniques in the settings instead of actually doing something magically in the background but I'm still not 100% sure but I, that's something I do want to try to understand how and why e-cycles is so much quicker already up to 2 minutes and 10 seconds and still ain't done this is CUDA with two RTX 2060 Supers running cycles on the official 2.83 build. Yeah, it should be done in about 10 seconds. If you hear any banging noises, it's people out in the neighborhood shooting fireworks. Alright, 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Let me go over to e-cycles. Let me change the preferences over to 
CUDA. I have a feeling whenever I do this, it's going to have to load the render kernels. So if it does, no, I don't. I don't need to. Apparently not. I was thinking it would probably have to pause so it could load the rend render kernels, but it didn't have to. So, but you can look right there. It's it's only 15 seconds into it and still showing about a minute. Although that's not really going down. But it does look like it's going to be quite a bit quicker, but not crazy amounts quicker. But, you know, the, it looks like it's going to end up being where CUDA in eCycles is going to be pretty much just as fast as Optics is in Cycles, if that makes any sense. But, I'm like I said, I'm going to... Um, do a, a more detailed test of this later on. I'm just right now I'm trying to come up with a good way to test this thoroughly without the video being you know 20 hours long. All right, there you go. One minute and 30 seconds. So Rendering in CUDA in eCycles was actually two seconds quicker than rendering in optics in cycles. So that's kind of interesting. But if I go back over to the regular cycles version, two minutes and 47 seconds versus one minute and 30 seconds. So you're talking a whole one minute and 17 seconds difference or realistically it's about 45% faster something like that but that's only on this particular scene and that's with it on uh, what was it fast or medium I don't remember which one I had it set on medium medium is what that was set on alright but I just want to put that out there and let you know that uh, Another video is coming in regards to this where I'm going to test it thoroughly because it seems kind of interesting. But on my uh, initial um, opinion of the of e cycles, the RTX version so far it seems a little overpriced. But I'm a little bit biased because I'm a cheap person. And uh, I guess that's it for now. But like I said, my opinion on that could actually change once I understand this better. And I do want to run some tests later on on uh, uh, volumetrics and stuff and see what kind of difference e-cycles makes when it comes to volume metrics but for now i guess that's it i hope you found this interesting and if you're interested in checking out e-cycles i'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description of this video and take a look at it and like i said i'll put up another video later not later today but in a week or two where i do some better testing Guess that's it. Later, people.